Okay, this is gonna be a funny video to make because uh, number one, my name is Justin Springer and this channel is all about making passive income with digital products. But, and I'll always talk about how to make money, but every now and then we also gotta talk about what to do after you make the money, right? And obviously you should be investing your money, but I think we're all trying to some degree save some money for rainy days. Uh, for anything that's going on, but I know it's kind of hard right now to put back money, especially in savings, because it's hard out here for a pimp, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's hard to do that, but we still need to be considerate of what we're doing after we make extra money, right? And the reason why I think like this is a funny to topic to talk about, in a sense, it's, it's, it's a real topic, but it's funny because <laughs> what I'm actually going to give you guys actually blew up as a make money online option, which is which is weird because this is not a make money online program, right? In fact, I've been a guy recently going against make money online programs, not not a whole bunch, not not 100% against them because I got started in those and, and yes, I'm an advocate for making money online. It's just more or less that the people that I always see chasing make money online opportunities just they don't ever seem to really pull away and take off or get out of their nine to five. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm in a, I, I used to be like this guy that's like, hey, I'm the side hustle dad, right? And and I still like it. It, it, it's catchy, but it's like, I don't want just to be a side hustle all the time. I want my side hustle to be a full-time hustle. I hope you guys can feel or appreciate what I'm trying to get through to you guys, right? Meaning we all start somewhere, so I'm not clowning on anybody. I'm just saying the people that I've seen make really big money, a lot faster than some of these people that are catching just every new little side hustle, right? They made a lot of money quicker by branding themselves, selling digital products and things of that nature, and not necessarily worrying about just the next make money online opportunity or the next crazy funnel that comes out that says that it's gonna make you a lot of money by just pushing a button and running some fucking traffic because only a good portion of those people, like like I'm talking about maybe a handful, actually make real money and everybody else is just chasing it, okay? But anyways, with that being said, let's get to the actual topic of what this video was about. Uh, high yielding savings accounts, right? High yield savings accounts, okay? I, I'm sure you've heard of this before. I'm sure you guys already know about it. I just, you know, I have been changing my YouTube channel. Um, in fact, some of you guys that sit there and watch my videos and then email me, please just stop, right? Like, I mean, if you wanna email me, email me a question. Quit trying to sell me some shit. Like, they wanna talk about my editing skills and this and, and, and listen, I make my YouTube channel out of my personal just opinions about everything in my personal life because that's what I do on some of my other social media channels. And so it is what it is. So please, for the love of God, stop hitting me up. I know you probably got some like VA doing that, but damn, man, just quit doing that shit. <laughs> it's like, it's annoying. I get an email all the time. Anyways, all right, so listen. So uh, high yield savings account, okay? Um, it's something that is serious. It's something that you guys already know about it, but I just wanted to tell you about my experience with it. And like I said, I think it's funny because they made like a make money online gimmick out of it, right? Over there in Facebook land. Everybody was posting about it on Facebook land because this particular bank account, they give a high yield, uh, they give it a good interest rate, right? And the funny thing is, is they also have a $75 referral program. Well, yes, I would like to, you know, get involved with that because I'm always down to make money and I would love for you guys to go refer and make money. But at the same time, I also want to just educate you and tell you why it's probably actually smart. Uh, for me, uh, I've always had, uh, well, I used to have Chase a long time ago. And then, you know, when I was a felon, like I messed up, <laughs> messed that bank account up. You know, I could probably go back to Chase now because it took me like seven years to get off of check systems. But I was able to skate in through Bank of America. And so I've been having Bank of America for quite some time now, right? So anyways, um, so I've always used Bank of America and I, I'm generally like everybody else, right? I don't save as much as I should. Uh, here, in the past few years of my life, I invest more, right? So that's a good thing, which will, I'll make another YouTube video about maybe investment sometime, even though I'm not like, hey, I don't claim to be that guy. I am not no investing guru. In fact, I probably won't even make that video just because it's just not my cup of tea, right? I just, I like to just put my money up to have it working for me, but you know, I'm not like some day trader or investing guru, okay? But anyways, 
But, you know, you got to start saving for rainy days and you generally want to start saving for like, you know, taxes, especially if you're starting to make money online, especially if you're starting to uh, make money with digital products, you want to save for taxes and you just want to save for general things, right? Rainy days, anything of that nature, right? Well, come to find out Bank of America, their savings account, dude, it was only like offering me a 0.04%. I want you to understand that, okay? Point zero four percent point zero four percent right where right now there's a bank account called sofi and i'm sure y'all heard of it and if you've been on facebook land you saw you saw it all the make money online people blow the fuck up with it right which well the funny thing is is i had a sofi account before it blew up on facebook so that's why i'm making this video right i mean obviously can i cash in a little bit yeah nice but at the end of the day that's not really why i'm making this video it's to help you out right they actually give 0.5 percent right which is already the better than the 0.04 on checking on checking yes on checking so if you can leave some of your check you know, your money in your checking account, you can get a little bit. Obviously, that's not that much, but if you can put it back in savings, they offer 4.6% interest on your savings. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your money in somewhere that is going to give you a better return, right? The cool thing is, is yes, this uh, bank actually gives you a $75 referral fee as well, right? Which is like insane, you know what I mean? So $75 referral fee. And if that person goes and gets a loan through them, which, you know, I don't really condone loans unless you're using those loans to get ahead or doing whatever you need to do to maybe even invest in a business. I don't give a shit, right? Like, I know people are against that, but listen, hey man, there's nothing wrong with spending other people's money. Just make sure you have a game plan to, you know what I mean? To make that money double or triple or whatever you need to do with it. But but anyways, even if you get a loan or if, if they that person goes in through you and gets a loan, you even get some extra money. But the ultimate thing about this conversation or about this video was really just, are you making sure that your money is actually working for you, okay? And I can understand if maybe you're kind of like, well, Justin, I don't know if I want to switch bank accounts. I've been with my bank for so long. Well, I mean, what I would say is at least go open it up, right? At least go open it up, deposit some money on a regular basis, and at least start putting some money in there in your savings account so that you're letting that build rather than the savings account you probably have right now. If you want to keep your checking the same because everything is going through one bank account, one card, all that good stuff, go right ahead. I just highly suggest that you start saving over there where you're actually earning a 4% interest. It's like free money. I mean, you can tell if you really start putting a lot more money in there, right? Then obviously that 4% is really, really going to add up. I mean, if you're only got a few hundred dollars in there, right? Of course, at the end of the month, it's not going to be that much, but at least it's better than what Bank of America is getting you. So anyways, that's my two cents, man. That I, and that's why I think it's funny making this video because number one, it's very beneficial for you to have a high yield savings account so your money is actually making more money for you. So what you could be doing is creating that digital product, which will then create the passive income and that extra income you could be starting to put back you know, a portion of it for a rainy day and letting your money build, right? But number two, the funny thing is, is you guys can actually go get this bank account. By, uh, you can go get a bank account, click the link before uh, below, right? Because you'll actually get a 25, you'll get 25 bucks, right? I know I said I get $75 referral fee, but anyway, I th there's some stipulations with all that. But anyways, yeah, I mean, if y'all don't mind, if it bugs you that you give me money, then go to SoFi and create another account. I don't care. I'm just trying to help you guys out. But here's the funny thing about it. Then you can go and refer people. In fact, it was blowing up all over on Facebook land because uh, all these guys, they, they kept talking about that. They were like, oh, this is easy money. This, is give, this bank account giving out free money. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I was, like, I was like, what? I was like, golly, guys, we're still chasing, which I understand, man. I'm like, yo, I, I'm there. I understand. Like, I remember when there was, a, there was another app that blew up a couple years ago where I think they were paying like, I, I forgot what it was. I think it was like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, maybe even 15 bucks per referral. Anyway, and I'm not gonna lie, when it, around Christmas time, it came in handy. Like there were some people that were running like Facebook ads because when somebody went and created an account, right, through your link, you got like a $15 referral, right? Like it was just ridiculous, you know, or 25, they were paying out like crazy to spread this app. 
and it was hilarious. So there were some people cashing in like a thousand a day, <laughs> like, like off of an app that gave you a free referral, right? And, and it's just, it's insane. Now their stipulations are a lot harder. That's why that app, that app is still around. I forgot what the app is called, but anyway, the app is still around. It's just, they changed the stipulations because they were like, shit, we're giving out all this free money. We got to stop. You know, SoFi, right? They've been around the block for a while. Great legitimate bank. Uh, great credit cards, things of that nature. So they offer a lot. They You can even invest in the app, which is really, really cool as well. So, you know, that's a, something else that you might want to think about is you can literally put your money in savings and then take a portion of that and invest it from the app as well uh, on safe investing. Well, that I'm sorry, I'm not a financial advisor. That's just my two cents. Some of you guys, you can do whatever you want with your money. In fact, I'm down for you to go like ball out of control and blow your money sometimes, right? Like just have that little bit of fun. But you also need to be really thinking about how can I make my money work for me? And that's that's ultimately what I was trying to get at in this video. Even if you don't want to go with SoFi or anything like that, think of a high yield savings account. And seriously, man, you know, think, just hear me out really quick. Think of it like this though, guys. Do you constantly just want to continue to keep on chasing oh, that next little opportunity or I got to make that quick little buck and I get it. I mean, I've been in hustle mode before, right? Or do you want to just actually say, you know what? Fuck that. I'm ready for my side hustle to be my full time hustle and I actually let my money work for me and do bigger and better things. That's just where my mindset is gone. That might not be your mindset. You might be back there and I'm with you. I've been there before too, but now it's like, yo, I'm on a whole nother level. So look, click the link before, below or go ahead and get the roadmap to start earning passive income with a digital product. And come on, man, do something smart.